replacing a light bulb. Could you pass me the stepladder? I need to replace the light bulb in the hallway. Then... Sure, here you go. Do you need any help? No, I think I can manage. The old bulb burnt out, so I'm replacing it with an LED one. That's a good idea. LED bulbs last much longer and are more energy efficient, right? Exactly. Plus, they give off a brighter light. Oh, and could you hand me the new bulb? Here you are. Do you need the screwdriver, too? Yes, please. I just need to unscrew the cover, remove the old bulb, and screw in the new one. Got it. Let me know if you need anything else. Thanks. I appreciate it. There, all done. The hallway is much brighter now. Looks great. Glad I could help. Fixing a leaky faucet. Hey, did you notice the kitchen faucet is leaking again? Yeah, I noticed. It's been dripping for a while now. We should fix it before it gets worse. Agreed. I think it just needs a new washer. Do we have one? I'll check the toolbox. Ah, here it is. Do you know how to replace it? I've watched a few tutorials online. It seems straightforward enough. Okay, let's give it a try. First, we need to turn off the water supply under the sink. Got it. Water supply is off. Now we can disassemble the faucet. Got it. Right? Make sure to remember the order of the parts as we take them apart. We'll do. And we'll need some plumber's tape when we reassemble it, right? Yes, to ensure a tight seal. All right, let's get to work. Painting the living room. I've been thinking, it's time we freshen up the living room with a new coat of paint. I was just about to suggest the same thing. What color are you thinking? I was considering a light gray. It would complement the furniture nicely. That sounds lovely. Do we have all the supplies we need? I think so. We have paint rollers, brushes, painter's tape, and drop cloths. Great. We should start by moving the furniture away from the walls and covering everything with the drop cloths. Agreed, and we'll need to fill any holes or cracks in the walls before we start painting. Right. I'll grab the spackling compound and putty knife. And I'll start taping off the trim and edges. Teamwork. Absolutely. With both of us working together, we'll have the room looking fresh in no time. Unclogging a drain. The bathroom sink is draining really slowly again. We need to unclog it. I noticed that too. It's probably hair buildup. Do you know how to unclog it? I've done it before. We'll need a plunger and some drain cleaner. Okay, let me grab them. Should I pour the drain cleaner first? No, let's try plunging first. It might dislodge whatever is causing the blockage. Good idea. Should I fill the sink with water first? Yes, but not too much. Just enough to cover the plunger. Got it. All right. Here goes nothing. Keep a steady rhythm and apply firm pressure. I can feel some resistance. It's working. Great job. Now let's run some hot water to clear out any remaining debris. Repairing a broken window. Oh no, there's a crack in the window pane. We need to fix it before it gets bigger. I see it. We should replace the glass. Do we have a spare? Yes, I bought one last month for situations like this. It's in the garage. Perfect. We'll also need a glazing compound and a putty knife. Got it. I'll grab those while you remove the broken glass. Should I wear gloves? Yes, safety first. Broken glass can be sharp. All right, I'll be careful. Do you need help with anything else? Just hold the new glass steady while I secure it in place with the glazing compound. Consider it done. Let's make sure it's sealed properly to keep the cold out. 
Good thinking. Thanks for your help. Replacing a door handle. The door handle to the bathroom is loose again. We should replace it. Agreed. I'll go grab the screwdriver and the new handle from the toolbox. Do you remember which type of handle we need? Yes, it's a privacy handle with a lock for the bathroom door. Got it. And I'll bring the screws too. Thanks. Let's remove the old handle first. Should I hold the other side of the door while you unscrew it? That would be helpful. Once we remove the old handle, we can install the new one. Do we need to tighten the screws extra securely? Yes, we don't want it coming loose again and make sure the lock mechanism works smoothly. Will do. They're all done. The new handle looks much sturdier. Cleaning the gutters. The gutters are overflowing with leaves and debris. We should clean them out before it rains. I noticed that too. It's important to prevent water damage to the house. Agreed. Do we have a ladder tall enough to reach the gutters? I think so. Let me go check in the garage. While you do that, I'll grab some gloves and a bucket for the debris. Found the ladder. It looks sturdy enough for the job. Great. I'll start scooping out the leaves while you hold the ladder steady. Should I also check for any leaks or damage while you're cleaning? Yes, that would be helpful. We want to catch any issues before they worsen. Got it. Teamwork makes the dream work, right? Absolutely. Thanks for your help. Mowing the lawn. The lawn is starting to look a bit overgrown. We should mow it this weekend. Agreed. Do we have enough gas for the lawn mower? I'll check the gas can in the shed, and I'll make sure the mower blades are sharp. Should I trim the edges with the weed whacker first? That would be a good idea. It'll give the lawn a neater appearance. All right, I'll take care of that while you prepare the mower. Sounds like a plan. Let me know if you need any help. Will do. Once the edges are trimmed, we can tackle the rest of the lawn. I'll start with the perimeter and work my way towards the center. And I'll follow behind you making sure we get an even cut. Perfect. Teamwork makes the yard work easier. Sealing the windows for winter. Winter is coming, and we need to seal the windows to keep the cold air out. I was just thinking the same thing. Do we have weather stripping and caulk? I bought some last week. It's in the utility closet. Great. Let's start by inspecting each window for drafts. Should we light a candle to check for any air movement? Yes, that's a good idea. We can use it to pinpoint the areas that need sealing. Found a drafty window. Should I apply the weather stripping first? Yes, that will help create a tight seal around the edges. And then we can use the caulk to fill in any gaps or cracks. Exactly. With proper insulation, we'll stay cozy all winter long. Thanks for taking care of this. It's important to prepare for the colder months. Cleaning the chimney. It's been a while since we last cleaned the chimney. We should do it before we start using the fireplace again. Good idea. Do we have a chimney brush and extension rods? Yes, they're in the storage room. I'll go grab them. I'll start by laying down some old sheets to catch any debris that falls. Should I set up the ladder outside to access the chimney? Yes, and make sure it's stable before you climb up. Got it. Safety first. Do you need any help with the brush? No, I think I can handle it. I'll start by brushing from the top down and I'll keep an eye on things from down here. 
Perfect. Once we're done, we can enjoy cozy fires all winter long. Looking forward to it. Thanks for your help with this. Repairing a wobbly table. The kitchen table seems to wobble every time we sit down to eat. I've noticed that too. Maybe one of the legs is loose. Shall we check? Good idea. Let me grab a screwdriver from the toolbox. Should I lift the table while you tighten the screws? Yes, that would make it easier to access the underside. All right, I'll hold it steady. Do you need a flashlight? No, I think I can manage. Ah, here's the loose screw. It just needs to be tightened. Great. Once we're done, we can enjoy meals without any wobbling. All fixed. Thanks for your help. No problem. Teamwork makes the table sturdy. Replacing a smoke detector battery. The smoke detector in the hallway keeps beeping. I think the battery needs to be replaced. You're right. It's better to do it now than wait for it to go off in the middle of the night. Agreed. Do we have a spare 9-volt battery? I'll check the battery drawer in the kitchen. Do you know how to replace it? I think so. I just need to twist the detector counterclockwise and remove the old battery. And then insert the new one and twist it back into place. Safety first. Do you want me to hold the ladder while you reach the detector? That would be helpful. Thanks. All done. No more beeping. Fixing a squeaky door. The bedroom door keeps squeaking every time we open or close it. It's been annoying me too. We should oil the hinges. Do we have any WD-40? I'll check the utility closet. In the meantime, could you open and close the door so I can pinpoint which hinge is squeaking? Sure thing, how's that? Got it, it's the top hinge. Here's the WD-40. Thanks. Should I hold the door while you spray the hinge? That would help. I'll apply a generous amount and then open and close the door a few times to distribute the oil. Sounds good. Hopefully no more squeaking. Problem solved. Thanks for your help. Fixing a leaking roof. There's a leak in the roof. We need to fix it before it causes water damage. I noticed the water stains on the ceiling. Do we have roofing tar? I think so. Let me check the garage. Do you know where the leak is coming from? I'll go up to the attic with a flashlight and check for any obvious signs of damage. Good idea. And I'll prepare the roofing tar in a trowel. Found the source of the leak. It looks like a cracked shingle. I'll apply the roofing tar to seal the crack. Should I go up and check your work? Yes, make sure the tar is spread evenly and covers the entire crack. Looks good. Hopefully that solves the problem. Fingers crossed. Thanks for your assistance. Anytime. It's important to address roof leaks promptly. Clearing a clogged toilet. The toilet is clogged again. We need to clear it before it overflows. I'll grab the plunger from the bathroom closet. Do you think it's just a minor clog? Hopefully. I'll fill a bucket with water to help with the plunging. Smart idea. Let's give it a try before resorting to a plumber. Should I pour some hot water into the bowl first? Yes, that might help loosen the clog. I'll start plunging. And I'll pour the hot water slowly. Let me know if it's working. I can feel some movement. Keep pouring. It's starting to drain. I think we did it. Phew, crisis averted. Thanks for your quick thinking. No problem. Teamwork saves the day. Repairing a ripped window screen. There's a tear in the window screen. We should repair it to keep bugs out. 
I noticed that too. Do we have a patch kit? I believe so. Let me check the toolbox in the garage. While you do that, I'll remove the screen from the window frame. Found the patch kit. It comes with adhesive patches and a mesh. Great. I'll clean the area around the tear while you cut a patch to size. Should I apply the adhesive to the patch or directly to the screen? I think it's better to apply it to the patch to ensure even coverage. Got it. And then I'll press the patch firmly onto the screen. Perfect. Once it's dry, we can reinstall the screen and enjoy some fresh air. Sounds like a plan. Thanks for your help. Cleaning the air vents. The air vents look like they're clogged with dust. We should clean them. Agreed. I'll grab the vacuum cleaner and a screwdriver to remove the vent covers. Do we need to turn off the HVAC system before we start? Yes, it's safer that way. I'll go do that while you remove the covers. Should I vacuum the vents while you clean the covers? That would be helpful. We want to remove as much dust as possible. Got it. And we should also wipe down the covers before reinstalling them, right? Yes, that'll give them a fresh look. Let's make sure everything is dry before turning the system back on. All done. The vents look much better now. Thanks for your help. Cleaner vents mean cleaner air. Exactly. It's important for our health. Replacing a toilet flapper. The toilet keeps running. I think the flapper needs to be replaced. I noticed that too. Do we have a new flapper? I'll check the bathroom cabinet. In the meantime, could you lift the tank lid and flush the toilet? Sure. Do you need help locating the flapper? Found it. It's a universal flapper, so it should fit our toilet. Great. I'll turn off the water supply and flush the remaining water from the tank. Should I hold the flapper chain while you remove the old flapper? Yes, that would prevent it from falling into the tank. Thank you. No problem. Once the old flapper is out, we can install the new one and adjust the chain length. All set. Let's turn the water supply back on and test it out. No more running water. Thanks for your help. Repairing a cracked tile. There's a cracked tile in the bathroom. We should replace it. I noticed that too. Do we have any spare tiles? I'll check the storage room. In the meantime, could you inspect the cracked tile to see if it's loose? Sure thing. It seems stable for now but we should replace it before it gets worse. Found a matching tile. I'll also grab some tile adhesive and a putty knife. Great. Should I remove the grout around the cracked tile? Yes. That'll make it easier to remove without damaging the surrounding tiles. Got it. And then I'll carefully pry the cracked tile off the floor. Be gentle to avoid any further damage. Once it's removed, we can clean the area and apply the adhesive. All done. The new tile looks seamless. Thanks for your help. It's like it was never cracked. Repairing a sticking drawer. The drawer in the kitchen keeps sticking every time we try to open it. I've noticed that too. Maybe the runners need to be lubricated. Do we have any furniture polish? I'll check the cleaning supplies cabinet. In the meantime, could you pull the drawer out completely? Sure thing. Do you need help locating the runners? Found the furniture polish. I'll also grab a rag to wipe down the runners. Great. Should I remove any debris or dust from the tracks? Yes, that'll ensure smooth operation once we apply the polish. Got it and then I'll spray some polish onto the rag and wipe down the runners. Perfect. 
Once they're lubricated, we can slide the drawer back in and test it out. Smooth as butter. Thanks for your help. No problem. It's much easier to access the pots and pans now. 